Good afternoon. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, today we're going to talk about what do you really want and why you might be settling for less than you really want because I bet there's an area of your life where you're doing that. Stay tuned. I'll get into that. So first of all, hi, my name is Barry Selby. Uh, I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, helping women create balance in life, love, life and business. I'm also the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and, singles and couples, men and women, those interested in love and relationship. It's a great book because I'm, I wrote it and I'm very biased. <laughs> I'll put a link to that in the comments at the end, by the way, um, so you can get your own copy. And I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which informs on my work with women and also what started these talks almost three years ago. I actually started one before that, but my actual series started in December 2016, so almost three years now and they, were th they are themed Messages for the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. Um, there's another book in there, I can feel it. So today we're at episode number 868. Yes, I've done a bunch of these and I will tell you at the back end where you can find the replays so you can catch up and everything else. Um, Facebook Live is where I do this, by the way, in case you're watching in replay, that's where it started. So today we're going to talk about, um, do you know what you really want? And if you do, why are you settling for less than that? This is going to be a painful one for some of you. It's going to be, hey, Danielle, nice to see my broadcast. It's going to be provocative, I think, too. Then again, it might be like, oh, crap. <laughs> it might be a wake-up call for some of you, too. And I'm, I'm um, in this conversation, too. I don't have everything I want. I know that. And I've settled in some areas as well. So I'm speaking from personal experience and personal exposure, so to speak. So stay tuned. And let's get into this. By the way, th and hi, Daniel. Nice to see you. Um, because this is Facebook Live, it is interactive. If you want to add comments, questions, thoughts, etc., please do so either in the live broadcast or in the replay later on. Or if you're watching on YouTube, so let's go there too. You can add comments and I'll respond to those as well. So I'm here to serve and inspire and awaken you. That's my commitment. That's my goal. That's my work. So there. And I'll also give you links to the back end where you can reach out and talk to me. So there. Just to make it really effective. So let me start with the topic. Again, episode 868. So a bunch of these are out there. And what is it you really want? Now, I'm going to use relationship as the flat platform for this because, frankly, it's the one I specialize in. And if you watch my talks, you know it's what I talk about a lot. But this theme and this conversation can apply to almost every area of your life or any area of your life. It could be about the car you drive, the job you have, where you live in the country, in the town, what house you live in. Every area, not just relationship. So everything I'm speaking about here, as I said, is applicable to any area of your life. So bear in mind that's what's going on. Even though you may have the perfect relationship, maybe there's another area of your life where things are not working the way you really want it to. So this may apply to you there. And I'm gonna go deep with this, by the way. Just just pre, be pre-warned, <laughs> be advised I may go deep with this. So, so pick an area of your life, maybe it's a relationship, where you've settled for less than you want in the past. Now, I know I have definitely and no, no insults of my previous relationship partners, but I know I settled for less than I really wanted. And for me personally, and I'm gonna presume it's the same for you, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> there was a feeling that somehow I didn't deserve or was worthy of what I was asking for. I actually believed that I had to settle for less than I wanted because somehow what I was holding for was too good for me. Now, I'm saying this to say that I'm not the only one thinking this, at least I hope I'm not the only one thinking this, but, we have, but I know, I, I, that I, for me personally, being, again, total transparency, I've been, been holding a value of myself for less than I really was. And I've gotten feedback about that over the years, which has really been encouraging. But at the same time, some of my relationship choices were um, convenient, comfortable, safe, limited. These words sound familiar to you? And so recognizing that's the choice I've been making, I've realized that some of my partnerships were not the level I wanted to have. Now, from a spiritual perspective, I use the word spiritual in this context, a spiritual perspective, I know there are instances where I look back and go, you know what, I learned the lessons I need to learn, it was perfectly fine, it was all good because it got me where I am now. That's all well and good because everything does that for us, all of us, you included. And we can shortcut some of this stuff. <laughs> At least that's my vision, my hope, my prayer. And holding up what I really want, and it's interesting because a part of that, part of it is worthiness, um, self-belief, and not believing I can have what I want. That's one of the big pieces. The second part, though, is also feeling like um, I need to do something versus doing nothing. And this is a false belief, by the way. 
Now, let me explain it this way. There are people I know, and recently I've quite a few people that way, where it's kind of like they want to jump into action, make things happen, without really knowing they're gonna, where they're going to go. That can work in some areas, but in some areas it does not work at all. There's a trap that we fall into thinking that if we, make, if we take the leap, then we'll find the right person. And I've taught this at some time, so I'm definitely guilty of this as well, where somehow we make that leap and we trust we're going to find what we want. And oftentimes we don't. We actually fall into a place where we are feeling, um, well, in my personal case, where I've realized I've, I've tripped over and made a pratfall of my, in, in, front of, you know, in front of somebody or something and failed and lost out and didn't get what I wanted. Because sometimes there's a value in caution before, um, what's the quote? There's a, quote, there's a couple of quotes probably in my head. One of them is, um, fools rush in where angels fear to tread. That's kind of what I'm talking about here, where basically you might blindly go into something without holding back and going, is it really the right choice? So this is another, this is, this is, this is the second part or another aspect of why sometimes we don't always get what we want because we settle for less, because we take action, because we don't want to sit there and wait. Now in the area of relationship, especially, this is a big one, I actually talked about this yesterday with Danielle who's watching, um, where we'd rather not be lonely. So we don't yet know how to be whole and alone and comfortable with being alone. So rather than being that place, we think we're going to be lonely. So we have to go find someone just to fill up our time and our days so we can feel comfortable. Yeah, a lot of this is tied to comfort. That's probably the third one in this conversation, by the way, because it plays through the other two. But in its own right, we'll stay within our comfort zone because we don't want to go outside of it for fear of being hurt, wounded, or uncomfortable. So that's the third one. I'm just seeing if there's any more because that one came out of the blue. So again, let's just recap those three just so you understand it. One of them is that you feel like that you don't deserve what you're really holding out for. In fact, you've got to stay comfortable because if you really got what you wanted, you'd have to stretch, you'd have to change, you'd have to transform, you'd have to be bigger, different, more, um, more present, <laughs> more exposed, more expressed than your lows would be. I've had that come up a couple of times recently with women I've met, just to be, again, transparency. Um, I know what I'm asking for and looking for in a relationship. And then when I meet somebody who might fit that bill, part of me goes, oh shit, is that what I need to do to step up to that? So that's one of them, <laughs> staying safe and holding back a little bit. Second one is really that place of um, impatience that, you know, say that, was it the, uh, another quote, because the quotes keep popping up, um, all good things come to those who wait. Does that mean if you don't wait, it won't be good? Maybe, maybe not. But that's the thing. Sometimes the impatience to get on with it, to get going, means we sometimes aim and shoot lower than we want. So that's the second one. And the third one is that we're really freaked out about leaving our comfort zone, which applies to both the first two as well. So that's three of them. I'm not sure there's any more that are coming up. Ah, <laughs> here's the fourth one. One of the things that we also deal with, we say, we know, you know, you're going to go off what you want. Do you really know what that is? It's actually not knowing, having a clear picture of what it is we really want to have, a clear image, a clear experience, a clear intention of what we want to have. And that, frankly, is a massive, um, what's the, oh, what was it? Oh, that was, no, that's a, mm. <laughs> I had a nasty word coming through. I'm not going to be, I'm going to be clean, I want to be nice. <laughs> but if you don't know what you want, it's kind of like shooting with a blindfold on. You've got no idea what you're going to hit. And so, and that's the fourth one, by the way. So if you don't know what you want, first of all, how you know when you get it? And secondly, you won't have a clue what you're looking for anyway. Bring up another quote. <laughs> quotes keep throwing through. Um, this one is, I'm just, I mean, they're just throwing quotes at you. There's another one quote I'm very familiar with, which is, if you don't know where you're going, any port will do, if you're on a, like you're on a sailing ship. So having clarity of what you want is absolutely vital so you know when you get there. It's like, you know, if you don't have, it's like, it, Basically, if you don't have like a GPS system, like a know what you want so you can get there, you won't know when you arrive. Ways won't tell you you've now arrived unless you know where you're going. So it's important to have that clarity. So that's number four. Let's see if there's any more in there. By the way, in case you haven't seen my broadcast before, I never have a script and there's no bullet points, there's no cheat sheet or anything like that. So if I come up with a list of points, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's 17, and I have no idea how many they're gonna be. So bear with me as I discover this with you, <laughs> or as you discover this with me. Um, let me see if any more come up. But before I, rather than stay in that place of waiting for it to happen, let me talk about solutions. So first of all, throughout the thread of all the first three, I was talking about comfort. 
And let me be blunt. If you really want what you really want, you could be willing to be uncomfortable to get there. Period. That's a simple lesson. That sometimes those things happen because you've got to be willing to stretch outside your comfort zone to get there. And the funny thing is, is that when you do that, sometimes it's actually easier than you ever thought possible. I've been aware when I've stuck in a comfort zone with things I was putting up with, and what I was doing as um, I was listening to somebody's talk yesterday, the day before. Hmm. It was a conversation I had a couple of days ago about the idea of, I was watching somebody's broadcast about when you are, um, well, the story, you know, the story of, of um, the crab in, was it the lobster, the crab? A crustacean in a pot <laughs> of cold water that's comfortable and doing fine. Then they turn the water temperature up, but as it gets warmer and warmer and warmer, warmer the crab gets boiled without really, without really getting uncomfortable. We put up with stuff. Okay, let me be blunt. We put up with shit in relationships, in jobs, in housing, in lifestyles, because we got comfortable there. Because that was progressively getting more uncomfortable without realizing it. So in fact, what's going on, we're not comfortable, we're uncomfortable, but we're used to it. We're comfortable in our discomfort. And that's not a good thing. So recognizing where you are first is a good um, starting point. I'm back to GPS again. So in the Waze app or in any, any, any navigation system, to know where you're gonna go, you gotta know where you start. So having clarity about where you are right now helps you get direction of where you wanna go so you know where you end up. So in the idea of getting what you want in a relationship or any area, knowing where you are is a good starting point point. know where you wanna go is a good destination. Those two things come in pandy. Um, let me go back to the three points if I remember them now because it's been a while since I said them or the forum. First of all, um, first one was know your self-worth. If you don't believe you're worthy of what you want to have and you settle for less, that's on you to change your self-image. One of those things we fall into the trap of is you don't think we deserve what we want to have. And it's a paradigm that some of us come to from various um, lessons, abuses, challenges, upsets in our lives. And one of those things for me, and it's an anchor in my work, is self-love. And I'm talking about this again because I promote this a lot, and it's one of the things I have in my arsenal of tools, is I have a self-love guided meditation that I offer. Because when you start loving yourself, what happens is your own self-reflection improves. Your self-esteem increases, and your self-image improves as well. Which means that when you go out looking for a relationship in particular, or for anything for that matter, your self-value is increased. And you haven't done anything externally, it's all internal. But when you really learn and own and honor and love yourself, your value of yourself increases to the point where first of all, you will not settle for what you for less than you deserve. Secondly, you will say yes to what you too deserve. And thirdly, you'll be willing to wait rather than, rather than give up your enjoyment of who you are to get something that's not what you want. That's the first three, yeah. That's, that's another piece, another, another pe that's two. No. I lost track of the numbers. You keep track of the numbers. So another piece of the puzzle is knowing what you want. If you don't know what you want, it's really challenging to get there. Kind of obvious, I understand. I have another another product, another program I have in my arsenal tools is called Attract the Man You Want. It's a course that I recommend highly for the ladies who are looking for love, but not getting what they want because they're setting for less or they're not knowing what they want, or they're having blocks because they keep getting what they don't want in their relationships. That's another. That's number five. I'll get back to that one. Okay, I need another one for the front list. <laughs> I'll get back to that. So what you don't want, stick that in there. Okay. So in my Attract the Man You Want program, which I have for women, it's an eight modules that actually set your vision up and your and your intention so you feel it and you own it and you honor it. So when you're out looking for a relationship, in this case, you know when you see it. Actually, you know when you feel it more accurately. So that's going to be, I'll put it in the comments too to help you out because it's another one of the, of the pieces. So let me go back to number five because I just skipped that one about... Um, getting what you don't want. One of the challenges we have in life, one of the opportunities we have in life, let me say it that way, is to reflect on our history and our upbringing to see what's working, what's not working. In the area of relationship in particular, but as applied to other areas, I've worked with my clients a lot, I've been through this myself, is recognizing that we get imprinted when we're kids by our parents. Yes, your parents imprinted you, not with a brand, <laughs> but with programming. And not intentionally, at least I hope not, but because your parents were your role models growing up, you unten unintentionally, or perhaps um, unconsciously, took on beliefs about how they exhibited a relationship and took it on as your own. You inherited 
through belief, sorry, you inherit it through behavior aware, um, observation how a relationship is. And by so doing, you then as an adult started doing the same patterns. You know, that they're saying about sometimes women marry their fathers and marry, men marry their mothers. That's why. Because you're marrying the energetic of what you believed your parents had when you get to an adulthood with somebody new. That may not be what you want. So again, when you don't know what you want, you may, and excuse me, you don't want, when you don't know what you don't, when you don't know what you don't, yeah, okay. When you don't know what you don't want, I want to make sure I said it the right way, you may end up getting that as well. So I'll also put a link in the comments to have a chat with me. Because if you don't know what it is, I'll help you figure it out. Because frankly, if you're really stuck in the area of relationship, my area of speciality, ta-da, then it's important to know or important to seek help from somebody who has better insights than you do. And it's also great to have somebody who can reflect back to you what you don't always see. One of the benefits of working with a counselor, therapist, coach, guide, whatever it is, is they will see you more clearly than you see yourself. So that's one of my gifts in my work. So I'll put the link in the comments for that as well. So that was number five. So the other part I want to talk about solutions is about patience. I talk about as one of the elements is about not rushing into the first thing that shows up. Learn to be comfortable with being who you are. Again, my self-love guided meditation helps you with that because it brings you back to yourself, owning and honoring who you are. But also, learn how to be self-sufficient, meaning that you can go out and take yourself out to dinner or go to the movies on your own. Yes, I know it sounds taboo to say that, but as a single person, to take care of yourself and actually enjoy your own company is a healthy choice. Now, I'm not saying you have to go every night of the week, but maybe on a Friday night or on a or Wednesday night or on a Monday night, whatever night you choose, go to the movies on your own. I'm actually going to the movies tonight on my own, and I've done, I've done that quite a lot. Go out to dinner at a restaurant. Yeah, really stretch. Go out to dinner at a restaurant on your own. Have a table for one. You might discover that you enjoy your own company, and people may give you some interesting feedback that might be actually positive. You never know. So that, that's, not a, that's not a requirement. That's just to throw out their idea for you. This is homework opportunities if you want to take them on. <laughs> I think I'm going to get off. I think I'm going to wrap this broadcast off before I get into, in, into a deeper, give you some painful assignments. That'll keep you busy for a while. So, so my question to you, my invitation to you is to let me know your experience of this. Where have you perhaps gotten less than you chose for? Maybe it was in a career or a job choice that you did a job you didn't want to do. Maybe it was a house or a place you moved to or moved out of that you didn't want to be in. Zero relationship. I've got some opportunities. I've offered some links in the comments. My book, um, my self-love meditation, attract the man you want, want, attract the man you want calls for ladies, and also a discover session with me. So I'll put those four links in the comments for you. But I'd like to hear from you. Let me know. Either message me or um, put comments below in the, in the in below the video, and I'll, I just know what's going on with you. You can have what you want. You can have what you want if you're willing to own up to it. If you're willing to choose, prove yourself worthy of it. If you're willing to get the help to get there, those three things alone will help you get there. So I appreciate you watching this because I hope this makes sense to you. This is my daily Facebook Live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. Join me at 5 p.m. every day, seven days a week, and you can see what I'm up to. Um, the replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Please like my page and you can watch them there. However, Facebook's been naughty. It's not keeping all my broadcasts available to watch. Only about half of them are there. So if you go to my YouTube channel, which is also Barry Selby. You can subscribe to my channel, and on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. You can watch them all there, from latest to oldest in the list you can scan, scan, scan through, scan through, scan through to find the titles that stand out to you. This is my invitation, is to go deeper in your own search for love, in your own search for self-support, and to give you the guidance to help you get what you want. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me, and I'll see you again tomorrow at the same time, same channel. Take care of yourself. Bye.